wanted to show you how to create a Schoology page within a course. A page is simply a way to share information with students where they don't need to turn anything in. So to create the page, come to your course materials and tap on add materials. And then you'll see page located here somewhat towards the bottom. And you'll see it's pretty simplistic. There's not really a due date. There's nothing along those lines. So here you can always do like an introduction page. So I would like to put a photo of myself so I can tap on insert content to add a picture, image, and media. From here, I can go ahead and choose a picture from my computer or I can even pull in an image that I found on the web. I'm gonna choose attach file and locate the picture on my desktop that I would like to use. When you find the picture, select and tap on open. You'll see that it might make the picture really, really large. You can either shrink it using these or when you select the picture, you can tap on that image icon and you can change the dimensions this way as well. So maybe 300 by 300. And you'll see that can go a little bit quicker. So here you can go ahead and type out your name. And then maybe I wanna make that a little bit larger. So I can go ahead and highlight all of that text. And instead of paragraph, I can choose heading number one. From here, you can even add emojis if you would like. I like to use the Chrome extension Joy Pixels because I find that to be a little bit faster. So maybe I wanna do a little wave icon so I can select that and I can paste that right here. Below my picture, I can even add some bullet points, some information about myself. Here you can see I've added a couple different bullet points. Again, that font is a little bit small, so I'm gonna highlight all of that font, and instead of 12 point, maybe I'm gonna make that around 16. You can also use other kinds of formatting options like highlighting, so if you want something to stand out on that page, maybe extra information, some key words if you're providing students with a vocabulary list. From here, you can actually attach files to this page, you can add extra links, you can pull in from your resources. I can even add a audio recording of myself talking if I want students to listen to something on this page. Any external tools like Nearpod, Edpuzzle, Pear Deck, lots of other options that you can do within this page. If you find yourself wanting to link something here, you can simply highlight the words and tap on the inline link option. Here you can see I've sent them to my email address. I'm gonna tap on open link in a new tab so that when they click on that link, Schoology can still stay open. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on save changes. And then you'll see that this becomes a blue link so they know that they can do it. You'll notice that I can individually assign content pages. So depending on the student, I can do that. I can leave this as published or unpublished. I can also display in a new page. I'm gonna turn this on just so that you can see what it does because when I tap on the create option, what'll happen is you'll see these folders at the top, but now you'll also see this page all located on the main one. So notice I didn't have to open the page to view the content. I can leave it open and here's that little email icon. To edit anything, you can always tap on that gear and select edit. So if I turn that button off, all students will see is just the page itself and then they actually have to open it, and then here's all the content within that page. You can have a lot of fun within content pages. You can embed videos, you can attach things. So lots of ways to embed content.